Hi folks, welcome to your weekly horoscopes. I'm Ivy Rivera. I'm a psychic medium and a Taino Arawak and I'm bringing you your horoscope for Monday, September 21st to Monday, September 28th, 2020. I use a combination of my channeling abilities, that's channeling spirits in the light exclusively, and information coming to me from planetary shifts and movements, as well as my own psychic ability. Have a great week. Leos, what do we have going on with you for this week? On Monday the 21st and Tuesday the 22nd, we have talk of someone in a position of authority. This could be someone who achieved what you are hoping to achieve. This could also be a boss. This could be your parents. This could be a professor. This could be a bank. This could be anyone in a position to give you something, either offering you a promotion so that you can accomplish it on your own or literally giving you some type of a handout. So we could be looking at inheritance. We could be looking at some type of a, of a loan or, you know, a grant. Uh, this is something that you can take from what Spirit is referring to as your parents, okay? So different people play different roles. This is kind of like an authority parent, parent role where they gift you this opportunity or literally this resource. And on Tuesday the 22nd, you're taking it gratefully and you're saying, okay, well now I'm going to use it to invest in my long-term goals here. And so I feel great about that. On um, Wednesday the 23rd into Thursday the 24th, there is talk of you needing to keep to yourself. And this felt to me like uh, it has to do with your emotions. It also has to do with your speech. It also seemed like it had to do with your um, physical space. And so it's sort of like you're cutting off from uh, pretty much everybody. But I really got the impression that it was important that you're cutting off either from like a boss, a situation that you're not comfortable with, possibly a spouse. If there's a friend or a frenemy, you know, if there's someone that you feel there's um, inconsistency in that situation or that relationship, you're really just sort of going to want to keep your energy to yourself. I think that's a pretty good way to say that, okay? On Friday the 25th, Saturday the 26th into Sunday the 27th, there's talk of calm, cool, and collected, and it went Friday the 15th, calm, Saturday the 26th, cool, and Sunday the 27th, collected. And spirit stressed collected, because this has to do with not just your approach to a situation or your level of self-control, or the way that you're presenting. It also has to do with what you're doing behind the scenes. So calm, cool, collected doesn't mean anything if you don't have a game plan, if you're not organized, if you don't understand your schedule or priorities or what your approach is going to be. So there seems to be some kind of change going on and it's all about you being rooted, grounded, and having a game plan and then understanding divine timing. We do have a class, a free mini class up on um, YouTube here. If you go to the playlist, there's a full list of free mini classes I've been putting out for the quarantine called the Quarantine Series, one per week, and there's one uh, called Divine Timing. Check it out before Sunday the 27th. Okay, now, there was also talk on Saturday the 26th going into Sunday the 27th about kids. These could literally be your children, but this could be anyone in a position under you that you're responsible for, whether you train these people, you're an educator, these are family members, even if you take care of your parents or something like this, but these kids, um, so to speak, would be needing your time and attention and energy, and I feel you being able to quite possibly be the only one or the only one willing or the only one with the resources to step up and help them, whether this be wisdom or a literal um, helping hand in some capacity. So give that the time and energy that it is deserving of having. And now on Monday the 28th, there's talk of yay. And I saw uh, Spirit drew a smiley face. I saw an exclamation point. And this had to do with yay, my house plans. So whether this is a house, meaning literally your residence, or where you want to live based on atmosphere or real estate plans that you have. A house can also represent you. It can represent your life. It can represent your lifestyle and what it is that you want to create for yourself. So whether you fall into the first category or the latter, depending on your sun, moon, or rising here with Leo, it is definitely a sign of an upgrade and a breakthrough and something to celebrate. Leos, have a great week.